Hey, uh, just uh, getting this video started. This is we're putting the winch. Finally, the weather's cleared up. No more snow. We're getting the covered winch onto the car hauler. There's a cover on it. You'll see later in the video. We're trying to come up with a slogan. Let's make it interesting. Whoever comes up with a slogan that we like the best, me and the wife, and we put on there, I'll give you, uh, you tell me what size, what color you want, long sleeve, short sleeve. It's on me, but you'll have to go back and look at my sticker video I showed the shirt. It says Jim's DIY Garage on the back and has the wrench logo on the front. And you let me know what size and you'll get a free shirt for whoever's slogan we pick. All right, well. I mean, the winch mount videos, uh, they're done, it's made. There it is, drilled. These four holes are for the winch, but we got this piece bolted down. The holes are drilled for the lid. Holes are drilled for the fair lead, but it's bolted down. So, uh, hoping tomorrow, I did put rubber matting down because of the aluminum. This is wood, but to keep it level instead of cockeyed. So I put rubber both sides. I caulked the underside and used nylon uh, washers. Put nylon washer, then this washer, and then the nut. So that part's all done. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get the winch put on it and get the cover put on it. The winch control box, there's going to be another plate that comes here because then eventually I'll put a mount a second battery here. And so the winch control box will be here. For right now, I'm just going to turn around and hook it to this battery for when I need the winch. Here's where we're at. Winch is mounted. Just got to get the lid on and that's all drilled i gotta go find my hinges I got stainless steel quarter inch bolts uh i had a guy when i was sending stickers for uh to promote my channel he sent these back i don't remember what the name of this group was so hopefully well i know he watches my videos so hopefully he'll say something let people know his other group is West Coast Willys. The guy knows his Jeeps. Uh, he has a beautiful 48, all original uh, that, he re that he redid, beautiful. These here, since this is gonna haul my Jeep, well, other vehicles too, I'm gonna put one on each side. Now the next thing, this is going to be, hopefully people will speak up. We want to put something here. Open case of emergency. If you're using this, you screwed up. Use some comment time and uh, voice some ideas. Not doing the profanity, so you ain't got to go there. But uh, feel free to voice an opinion and... You never know your slogan might be on the top of this and this here is gonna set I just got to bolt it down it's gonna go right there I do have the latches for it I gotta put them on yet but it's gonna sit like that the reason I didn't mount the control panel on top here like most do this would have been even higher if I'm hauling a longer vehicle, two-wheel drive pickup or something, I don't want to sacrifice all my clearance. And that box, this thing would have been up another four to five inches, I think it was, if I remember right. So that's why it's going to mount next to it. But uh, here's where we're at. I'll show. Feel free to comment below some, just some corny idea that we can put on there. If you're using it, you screw it up. Anything like that. Voice an opinion. Well, 
didn't work out how I planned. I got quarter inch bolts for here. I either gotta go with bigger hinges or I gotta go with the quarter inch screws that go in. Because when it closes, the head here and the head here connect. So it ain't allowing it to close entirely. It's hitting. I really don't want to drill more holes in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get quarter inch screws that but otherwise that's it uh only one little hiccup i bought all bolts and i shouldn't have done that but, but that's how she's gonna look so i gotta go uh do the hardware store the problem i got left is to put the two stickers on and then if somebody comes up with a slogan to put on uh around the curve facing here so but otherwise uh that's the covered winch project for latches but i don't want to put those on yet until i get this solved because i don't want to have to re-drill those like, too so but otherwise tuned i'm uh, gonna be going to the junkyard saturday and that's gonna decide if the 450 gets scrapped or we keep it uh all i'm gonna say and Y'all stay tuned for Saturday. Okay, I left the, I re used the nuts. But what I did, I took out these bolt bolts and I replaced them with stainless steel screws. Now, let's it close. Now the only thing I got left is put some weather stripping strip here and here on both sides and that's it but it's closing so it's been raining on and off to today so tomorrow i'm gonna trim this back and i'll put my latches on and then i won't have to have the strap on it but that's it um tomorrow i go in and do hand surgery so i know i bought parts for the jeep and playing those by ear i got to get a uh, forging project done I hammered it out so I'm good there and I'm uh, hoping in a couple days get back to this because I really need to get that up and uh, while it runs I just got to get it going but there, we're, there we are that's the and then there'll be two rubber latches one on each side undo them flip that up and now you got the winch for winching on and off all right that's it another project for the most part done.